Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, here on a new map, a uh, new series, probably going to be our only series for a bit. Uh, sorry to anyone that was looking forward to UMRV or Ashton or Richlands, but uh, as you know, it's been a while since I've made a video. I uh, went on vacation and just... Since coming back, I've really struggled to find motivation to make any videos, but, uh, so I think I'm just gonna try and change up how we do things, we're just gonna go with one map, just gonna go back to really enjoying the game, try and get out of this, uh, burnout, I guess you could call it, so, um, I enjoy making videos for you guys, I enjoy thinking of the process of making videos while playing my saves and all that kind of stuff so this one is a gonna be based on a large-scale uh, farm or farming in-game uh, over 1500 acres so uh, this is Medicine Creek this was a half converted map that's been out there publicly released for a while um, I put some time into fixing a lot of the errors and such so um, cell points work all that stuff um, but the farms I've just built um, but like I said it's just uh, it's my private edit of the map I've added new ground textures and harvested textures and all those kind of things. So, um, and like I said, I've fixed quite a few errors and stuff that were popping up on the map log to hopefully make it easier on the computer while playing it. So, uh, I guess I'll just show you a quick uh, overview of the map and all the land that we own. So... We currently own everything in blue. Our farm is this farm here. If you're familiar with Medicine Creek, you know what farm this is. But, uh, yeah, so we have our, over a thousand or 1500 acres on this map currently. So, uh, pretty spread out as well. Obviously, we have quite a bit of chunk around the farm. Well, I guess this is more so around the farm because. To get to any of this stuff, we got to drive all the way up and around, so it is quite a haul. Uh, 14 here is a satellite bin site, so we have extra bins up there on the north side there. Uh, but, yeah, so that's going to be our farm. We're in spring, so we're going to be planting. Given the planting or starting spring mod ago, hopefully it doesn't mess up like it did in UMRV. But, anywho, so... Uh, currently here uh, at our, let's call it our liquid fertilizer shed, I guess, or where we keep our fert. So uh, we run mostly, or all Mack trucks. Uh, this is our tender trailer. We got our four liquid fertilizer tanks here that we just actually got filled. And our herbicide chemical tanks there got our 4045 here is our sprayer just gonna do a quick tour might as well while we're doing it so we got our large bins here three really huge AGI bins with some smaller uh, West Steel hopper bottom bins there got our tillage implements here uh, we got a big well rich uh, chisel plow as well as a smaller 2700 chisel plow that we run on our 8960 uh, this is our oldest tractor that we have well is it our oldest I guess that might be between this one and the rock picker tractor so which is a 4040 so I'm not sure which one came first um, but anyway so we got the tillage tractors hooked up to the Cultivators, because we need to get out and start fitting some fields. This is a 36-foot uh, Great Plains here, hooked up with a JM rolling basket on the back. 
that's our first tillage tractor and then our next is a 9510 like this tractor because I run this in real life well I don't well I have uh, I usually run a 9300 but uh, I've ran this quite a few times anyway so uh, hooked up to our 60 foot Great Plains cultivator same cultivator as 36 but just 60 foot uh, and we have the rolling baskets on the back already instead of an extra implement hooked up to the back there so 2700 goes on the 8960 I think I've said that already so quickly jog over here these bins we got scales on each side know how much we're uh, loading in very large corn dryer there does dry the corn so uh, over here in this hoop barn we have a leased pro force leasing it right now while we kind of figure out what we want to use for our uh, dry commodity spreader uh, got our Volvo excavator for knocking down fence rows and tree lines and all that stuff. Got our headers, got one Macdon 40 foot and a John Deere 6040, eight foot uh, or eight row corn head there. Into our big uh, cold storage shed, we got our two combines on each side. Uh, S680 that runs the uh, John Deere. 40 foot with the air bar which is our newest one is a 2015 and a s670 a little bit smaller but uh that'll run the that runs the macdon 40 foot and the eight row corn head so this is a 2012 we have our newest truck it's a mac don't have the uh, farm logo uh put on the uh, side of it yet, but we will. And then we have our uh, Mac R700, I believe, is the model. Um, so, in our upper bottoms trailers, our Demco uh, auger wagon there, and our folding 12 row corn head that goes on the S680. We run a 12 row and an 8 row because it is relatively difficult to keep up um, if we were to be running a 212 so uh, we run a 8 row and we run a 6 or a 12 row so uh, it is spring like I said so we do have a lot of our spring equipment out uh, we got this uh, our Chevy here hooked up to our very old seed tender uh, but we still use it every now and then and then we have our brand new JNM uh, speed tender here that uh, we'll be giving a go for the first time this spring on our F3, F350. So uh, just got a load of seed in here. This is our uh, corn seed. We got to get another delivery of our oat seed and our beans. We run wheat, oat, beans, and corn on this farm. Do a lot of winter wheat. We'll also be doing some double crop beans as well. Just take you a quick look at the back here. Uh, we are getting prepped to go spread some uh, some potash on the field. So kind of what we do is get a dump truck load, go dump it on the field, and then uh, we use the telehandler to load the spreader on the field. So. Uh, Head over to these uh, older loader tractors here. We got ourselves a 4040 and a 7210, I believe, on our two rock pickers. We are going to be picking some rocks on this series. Obviously, we're not going to get to every field, but I figured why not give the old picker a go, or rock picking a go for a bit until we don't enjoy it anymore. <laughs> so, uh, got our big old Mandaco roller there. Uh, got our two fuel bins here. This is an off-road fuel bin, and then we have our on-road fuel for our trucks. 
that white fuel bin there is off-road as well. Got our Manitou, our split row, 16 foot, uh, or not 16, 16 row, split row, bean planter. That was kind of a tongue twister. Also have our 1990, I believe is what it is, our drill here, air, air drill, air cedar, whatever you want to call it, um, on our 8260. And uh, got our gator, and then last but not least, we got our big old planting rig here. So, got our 8345R with the fertilizer tank on the front, fertilizer tank on the planter here, 24 row planter, and we have our Patriot cart, liquid cart on the back as well. So, um, we only have that one tender uh, trailer over there for liquid fertilizer. So, and with our ground being so spread out, we like to make sure we're not uh, driving all over the country uh, <laughs> with the uh, tender. Because a lot of the time we're running the sprayer as well, trying to get other fields ready to go while we are planting as well. So, um we carry a lot of liquid fur on the tractor and the planter, so just to make sure we're we're good on it. So that is pretty much it for the farm tour. Some of the jobs we got to do here, we got to get some together, get the rock pickers out, and then we got to start fitting some fields. Obviously, we're not going to pick everything before we start fitting, so we'll fit a few fields with rocks in them. Pickers will go. We'll get. We'll figure out where we need to send the pickers. Uh, we got to spray our winter wheat with some uh, post emerge, and then I think that's kind of what else we what we got to do before we get to planting. So had the planter out here, and we had it. Uh, we've been looking it over. So uh, got pretty much just been servicing most of our equipment. So it is finally springtime and seems like we can start getting in the field. Oh, I gotta take the license plate off that tractor. Uh, so it's gonna be kind of jumpy around videos because since we have so much to do, so uh, you're not gonna see everything because I want to just be able to play and record kind of when I want to. I'm not going back to a preset schedule just too busy for that right now at the moment so uh, yeah so other than that uh, I think we'll hop into some jobs and I'll uh, catch you guys once we uh, find a good spot to get some footage <laughs> 